Hi, I would like to show you the settings that you can use for Google Chrome to avoid Trojans, viruses and worms. So uh, this would be pretty quick and let me uh, give you an overview of the settings that you need to be aware of and you should consider using. So one of the first things you want to do is to make sure that every time you start the Chrome browser, it deletes all the previous cookies. And the reason it, uh, you want to do that is because the cookies may have some information about secure sessions and you don't want some uh, virus or worm being able to use some of that information uh, unknown, unknown to you. So I think it is a good best practice to basically have uh, when you restart the browser, it should delete all the cookies. And I will show you uh, all of these things. Uh, you should also uh, not uh, have the Google Chrome remember your passwords because that can be a security risk if somebody else uh, can get access to your computer and look at uh, look at it, uh, they can uh, easily get to the password. So uncheck offer to save your passwords. Uh, there is something called extensions in Chrome browser and if you should turn off the extensions that you don't need because the extensions can have uh, information access that could inadvertently get into wrong hands. Uh, you should also enable phishing and malware protection. And uh, another thing you, uh, I would recommend is that uh, if you're logging on to an important secure site, for example, such as a bank or a financial institution, uh, you should obviously be using HTTPS. So the way uh, I would recommend is basically you exit Chrome and restart Chrome and then log into the secure site and when you're logged into the secure site don't browse to anything else and basically do everything you need to do on the secure site and then exit chrome and then restart chrome and then you can uh, uh, do the rest of your browsing uh, i would recommend these uh, simple steps and that can help you avoid some of the viruses trojans and worm problems that you might encounter so let me just uh, kind of show you how and where you can find these settings. You basically go into settings. Uh, to turn the extensions, you can just click on the extensions. And here you can see that I have several extensions that I normally use. But uh, for a day-to-day -day use, uh, when I don't really need a particular extension, I just usually can enable it and disable it. So I would recommend that you can disable the extensions that you normally don't need and then going into settings. Uh, if you go into the settings, uh, you'll see some of the settings are very basic. So you have to go into advanced settings to be able to change the things I was talking about. So one of the things is you want to make sure that you have phishing and malware protection turned on. Uh, to be able to uh, delete the browsing history and I will show you uh, the kind of things the browser may be stored. Storing so if, you, if I go and take a look here, it says all cookies and site data and here you can see it has so many cookies <coughs> From my past uh, Browsing that uh, it is in the browser and you don't really want to have that uh, Every time you, uh, you start and uh, so what you want to do is uh, you can select the setting for cookies course Keep local data until you quit your browser. So when you quit your browser the cookie so will be gone So I would recommend doing that and uh, that should be uh, pretty much all the settings you need to be concerned about. Uh, uncheck offer to save your passwords. Uh, you should uh, uh, do that. So here you say offer to save your passwords. You should uncheck that. And once you've basically made the settings, you can quit it. And uh, what you do is uh, quit Google Chrome and then you can restart Chrome and now you are pretty much in a safe mode to be able to do uh, uh, the safe browsing and if I look uh, uh, if you want to get some more information you can basically go to my website which is gorassociates.com and you click on the antivirus section uh, this is where I'm going to post this video and I also have lots of videos where you can learn about differences between viruses, worms and trojans and how cyber criminals steal money and what is HTTPS and some of these other videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. You have a great day.